everybody, it's Brandy. Um, I'm sorry it has been so long since I have vlogged. It's just been, like everybody else, busy. And it has been on my mind to vlog for the last three months, but it's just kind of fallen by the wayside. So, um, everything is doing going great. Um, the Smart Libo was a success. I love it. Um, I love the changes it's made to my body. Um, it isn't made for you to lose weight. It is made to reshape your body. And I think in the end, you wind up probably losing weight because they're taking out so much. I think, um, I don't have my paperwork in front of me and we just moved, so I don't know where it's at. But, um, when I went to the doctor, this is just roundabout numbers, okay? Um, off of what I can remember. When I went to my final appointment visit, it was amazing, the before and after pictures, which I wanted to show you guys, but I've lost them, so I'm looking for them. Um, anyway, I they took out, she said, four and a half liters of fat, okay, which is amazing. She was like, you were excellent. She's like, it was perfect. Um, and I wound up losing a total of like nine and a half inches, um, from my upper abs and my lower abs and my hips. Um, so I'm ecstatic. I mean, really, I couldn't have asked for better results. Um, nothing is going wrong other than I have seen my eating patterns have become what they used to be. Um, and I don't want to go back to what I used to be. So I have not gotten on a scale since my smart lipo surgery. Um, so I don't even know how much I weigh. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Um, but I'm going to start a round of HCG. Um, I, this will be my third, well, my fourth round or a redo of my third round, I guess. Um, I started back in January, I guess, of last year, my third round, but I fell off the wagon, so to speak, and I never got back on. So it's been about eight months almost. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and do another round. Um, I've waited long enough. I'm kind of have you doing HAG. You have to get yourself mentally prepared. Everybody knows that. Um, I'm there. It's going to be a short round, no more than 28 days, hopefully shorter. And I'm not doing it for weight loss. I mean, that's going to be the added bonus. I'm doing it for me to feel better. Um, I just feel like I need to get back in control of the way I handle my body and what I eat and what I put in and I'm not in control right now and so for me HCG is always a great way for me to get back into control to really be mindful of what I'm putting in my body and how I'm treating my body so that is what I'm gonna do um I'm probably I'm gonna order my HCG probably tomorrow this is my daughter say hi hi um I'm going to order my HCG tomorrow, and I probably will start um, the following week, hopefully. I'm going to do Bye, what I... Are you die? No. Uh. <laughs> I'm going to do what HCG Chica said to do. I just watched a vlog of hers. Love her. Um, and she just said to go ahead and, you know, do an all-protein load before, a healthy thing, like for seven days before. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm kind of just going to cut out all the, um, as much as possible, the carbs and sugars and everything, and just really focus on loading, I mean, eating proteins and vegetables and dairy, and then do a big, heavy, you know, just do the same thing for two days. And I'm not going to overstuff myself like I usually do when I load. I have a tendency to be like, oh my God, I'm not going to eat this forever again. And I just stuff my face, even to the point of where my stomach hurts. And I'm not going to do that again. Um, I'm not one of those people that can naturally eat like four eggs or three eggs. I'm lucky if I could eat one scrambled egg. So I'm just going to do what my body feels comfortable doing. Not to the point of pain and anything like that. I just want to be healthy. I want to show my daughter a he healthy lifestyle. I want to show my boys a healthy lifestyle. And... Um, you know, my middle son is already there. He loves to eat vegetables. Um, my older son has a harder time with that. But that has to do with some other issues, I think. 
And my daughter is kind of like borderline. She can eat some stuff, but she can't eat everything. So I really want to try to show them those things. And I want to be an example. You lead by example, right? And eating a bowl of ice cream every other night at 9 o'clock is not a good example. Not that my kids are up, but I know. You know what I'm saying? And I haven't been drinking water, which is the story of my life. I don't know why. I just don't drink, period. Anyway, um... So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up and check in with you guys. I'm going to vlog through my round, um, and I hope y'all watch and can give me words of encouragement, and I hope I can um, pull this round off well, because I really want it in 2012 with a big bang, right? Feeling great about everything that's going on with my body. So that's what's going on. And my neck surgery. That's right. I'm going to do another one. Um, I won't be smart like Bo, though. I'm going to probably get a boom job. You, All you moms know who breastfeed their babies what your boobies look like afterwards. And my friend told me this the other day, and I started laughing because I've never heard it. It's like a rock in a sock. <laughs> and that's what mine looks like. Um... But I don't know when I'm going to do it. And I'll let y'all know. I, I'm not going to get implants. I'm just going to get them, them a little bit reduced and lifted as much as possible. So, um, anyway, I don't know when I'm going to do it. Hopefully uh, sometime in 2013, maybe. Fingers crossed. Um, I just wanted to give y'all a heads up. I will talk to y'all later. Love you guys. Bye.